confusion. It's just ha had me, myself, and my mate Zach, who I was supposed to be doing a convoy with, had some issues. Basically, the first one was, is we done a manual save called Jobs, as you would do for Truckers MP. So you'd get your profile and you'd do a manual save called Jobs. Then you'd load up the Trucky app. You'd then you'd load all your saves, then you'd load up, say, you line up all the jobs where you want to go. And then basically you'd update your save, and then basically when you load up the game, you'd then load your save you just made and edited, and all your jobs should appear. So we then tried that in, obviously, Truckers MP and, Pr and Convoy, nothing happened. So, obviously, and also he had the, um, awkwardness of, um, basically, your game version is literally the wrong version, even though he's running the same one as mine, and I can then launch Truckers MP. And tonight, I am quite happy that the person was outside the garage, I either pushed the LSB button, on my steering wheel or the X button because I believe I did change the key binding for it but I will have to have a look at which one I changed it to and then basically yeah um, basically instead tonight I'm gonna be doing some driving on my mega map because I'm basically gonna start from le level one on Euro Truck Simulator 2. That'll be the only way I can be and the jobs I will literally give you as follows once the game is loaded up. When and to we actually um, do get this going. But anyway, I will literally flick us to live screen. And while that does load up, I will just make sure my game overlay is enabled. Which should weren't, but it is now. Okay, so that's all enabled. I can then just wait for this to spam and load up. And then basically, guys, um, the Facebook um, overlay for chat will be on my screen. But the Twitch, guys, um, until I sort it out, you'll be read directly from the mobile screen so if anyone would like to text me please feel free after the stream please I if you'd be so kind it's just the fact that I've got to have the twitch chat up on that for this stream until I do get something obviously sorted out so I can have all my twitch all my channels running obviously as an overlay in front of me. I was using Restream. But the thing with Restream is if I have my Twitch connected, my Facebook connected, and my YouTube connected, one of them decides to just drop out. While the other two runs perfectly fine. But yet again, I haven't tried it since I have had my PC wiped and had a spring clean. So now it runs like a spring chicken. So yeah, uh, guys, I did kind of bugger myself right up. I was supposed to go mod manager and walk you guys through on what mods I am using to get this um, all working lovely. But what I'll do is I'll back out back to the main menu before we start once it does load up and you know do all the jargon it normally does with this game. But yes for now guys while it do load up obviously in a kind of an error I suppose to show you mods but we are currently running 177 mods Personally mine because some of them are skins and some of them are trucks I've put in the game. So you guys won't have as many mods. But yeah, it does take near enough 100 mods to get this running. 
But for now, until everything sorts itself out, I'm going to go and vape and drink. But yet again, when it's all done, I'll be back here. And also guys, what I did is I basically brought up my game overlay up before I started the game so it kind of made it crash. Which is a good thing in a way, because at least I can now load it up to its main screen and then show you and then go through... Excuse me. I'll just say that again just in case you guys didn't catch a word I said. But yeah, because I brought my game overlay up before I start the game... It kind of crashed the game out. It always does. Don't ask me why. It just do it. Hence why I'll wait for the chat overlay and the recent events to come up once I'm in game. And also it's a good thing I'm back at this screen guys. Because I can now go through and show you exactly what mods are enabled and not enabled to basically get this working. So then that way if you guys are interested in my mega map loadout for Euro Truck Simulator 2 version 1.4.3, the latest version downloaded via Steam, uh, it will work basically as long as you line the mods up as I've got them now. If you do them any other way, your game could half load crash corrupt you get the drift so yes guys and we'll go from the bottom excuse me for that um so basically as we will go from the bottom work our way up this is quite a big combo so if i'm reading a bit too fast or too slow for you um i do apologize but you can always pause the video once it's live and up on air on YouTube, Twitch, and also Facebook, and these you watch it, you can. Um, as we will go from the top, or should I say from the bottom, going up to the top, it's the easiest way to read it, so that way I don't get confused, and then that way you don't get confused, because when you do load mods in, the first one will be at the bottom, then it'll go one, two, three, above, and all that lot. So the first map you'll be loading in right to the very bottom is called Afro Map. 2.2 adjusted version then we've got pj indu map 2.71 assets in models one then we've got the models two package then we've got the pj indu map version 2.71 def and map files as we have read them out we are then moving up to the java road revolution jir assets and models one well, then we've got the models two file then we've got the def and map file for that this one is optional we have the magreb mag hareb map which personally it's in my loadout this is working in this order we've got the magreb map and then we've got the map file for it here We've got the Model 3 map, the Models 2 file, and the Model 1. And of course, the main files to make it all come together, the definition files. Then we've got the Great Steep, or the Great Step. Don't know how you would literally um, come across it. Some people say Steep, some people say Step with a, cat, with a silent E. So, we've got the model file for that, and we've got the map file above it, then the def, then if you do want to run it with the English city names, you've got the English city names version 2 file for that above it. Okay guys, and then afterwards, we have the road to Asia, 
So in that order, we'll have the road to Asia models. Then we'll have the assets file for that. Then we have the road to Asia by Terra maps. And then you have the Turkmenbashi Valsina ferry connection, which is also a ferry connection for road to Asia. Then we have the RTA 121 prefab update. Then above this, we have the road to RL. Then we have the caps fix for that, which fixes any caps or letters in your road names. Then we have the Sibir map. Sibir map. Models 2 file. Then the the models file. Then the definite. Then the map and definition. Then you've got the capitals, cap specs version two again. Then above this, we have the southern region, which is SR, which is that stands for southern region, guys. Then we have the model two for that. We have the m m model one for that. Then we have the def and map for that. Then we have the ferry navigation fix for that one. Then we are going to put in the Volga, not the Olga or the Ogre. It's the Volga map model file. Then the definition file, how I used to run it. Then I found the um, extra file where it brings up the English city names. Also, again, if you want to run your map where you've got the English city names for that. Then also, new in the map that I haven't had up until last time, I've also got it running, just so the map is a lot larger, is the base, is the map, uh, I'll be able to say this in a sec, mapper. EAA basically we've got the base 2 file for that in this order so you'd be going 1, 2, 3 then the caps fix then the mut then obviously this right so you'll be going in this order base 2 map at EAA 6.4 then we've got the base 1 MAPA EAA 6.4 then the MAPA a E A A 6.4 file itself. Then you have the E A A caps fix. Then you have the E A A map combo fix for that one. Then afterwards that file you will put in your Rust maps def underscore version 2.43.1. Then in between that will go all your pro mods. So you will have the ProMods Assets file, or the Assets package, sorry. Then you'll have the Models 3 package. Then the Models 2 package for ProMods. Then the models, what, the models 1 package. Then you'll have the Media package. Then you'll have the Map package, and then the Def. That is always going to be the same way if you are loading ProMods on its own. Even for Truckers MP, you will load it in this order and nothing else, just these mods to unlock Pro Mods. The latest version is still until they do the update is version 2.60, just to clear the air and get that out of the way in case people are confused on which, which version is the latest because I've got, obviously you can see it, 2.57 in case people need them for their version of the game. Then I've got the Jan main Jan main Pro Mods add add on beta 0.2.1, which is basically a Japan extension or rebuild. Then we've got the Pro Mods Middle East add on assets and packages package file. Then we've got the Middle East add on def and map package for that. Then we have on top of that the Israel Lebanon open border. Then we have the Corfu Greek and Islands pack. Um, that's the model, so that'll always be there. 
Then we have the Corfu, Greek and Ireland's death and map. But if you are not, if you want to use the map on its own, without promos or nothing, select the Corfu and Greek Islands Death and Map folder. The one in red is for pro mods only. But when you do download that, that new map. That do come with um, both of them files, guys, as one, so you haven't got a panic. Then you have the Red Sea. So in this order, you'll be going Red Sea Assets. Then you've got the Red Sea Map file for that. Then you've got the Pro Mods add-on EMDEN version 5 in brackets. Then you have the Iberia Rebuild. Then you have the E58 PM add-on version 0 0.2. Then you have the Derry to Lane roads add-on. Then I have the Islands map 0 0.1.1. Then I have the Meds map version point 0 0.1 add-on. Then you have the Mediterranean expansion version 1.3 after that. Then we will be going to add on after this the Finn Mark Troms 1.4.3. Then we will add the Project Greenland 0 0.2 zip 0 0.20. And then after that you'll add the ferry connection on for that as well. If not, you won't be able to get to it, especially without a ferry. You'll have to swim. Ha 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 ha. Then I, had, then I added, personally myself, the Viva Malta. Then I added the Mac E Donor rework. We have the materials and assets. Then the map re rework map. Then the definitions. If you have Basically, the difference for these two guys is if you do not have the special transport DLC bought via Steam, run this definitions file. If you do have the special transport purchased, then you run this one here. Then you've probably heard of this and all. Then afterwards, I have Project Balkans, and in this order, it goes Project Balkans assets package then the map pack package folder for that then the def package for that then you got the project balkans map combo fix on top of that then you have the rest of the rust map in this order so we've got the rust map models too then you've got the model file for that then you've got the Rust map map files for this. They're all version 2.43.1 by the way. Then you have the Fix the Great Steep Rust map 2.4.3. Then you have the pack that connects all the roads together. That's called PM260 underscore RM243.1 Rust map. Connect via Rust map. Then I put in the SZM add-on 2.4.2. That still works even as for 2.4.2, guys. I just thought I'd clear that out and all. Then I had the Kirov map. And in this order, to load this one in, you'd put the Kirov models in. Then the map. Then the caps fix. Then I put this in as another optional extra. I added the Greenland rebuild. I added the Poland rebuilding and once I just thank you everyone for liking uh, I do thank my mother for liking this stream and that's Dawn Brandish and I do thank Brad Losh Hall. thank you for liking buddy if you would like my mods uh, uh, 
welcome. If you'd like my mods, um, let me know, and obviously if you tech, if you send me a PM me or send me a message on Facebook, I will be quite happy to give you the link to that to download the files for the mods. Um, so you can have this, and following up, I'll be doing a tutorial video on how to set up my combo, my Mega Map combo for American Truck Simulator as well. I do have it for that as well. Obviously not the same mods because our free TS. But as we're getting to, we want the Poland Rebuilding Assets. Then we want the Poland Rebuilding Models file. Poland Rebuilding Map file. Then the Poland Rebuilding Definition files. Then the Poland Rebuild and Show Roads Fixed Version 2. Then the MK Rework Poland Rebuild and Fix. Then the next ones we are going to get up to are the Roads 1.0. Then the Med EX Plus Roads Ferry Connection. Then we will have the R329. Is what I call it. Rocks. R-O-E-X. So in this order, you'd be going like five, four, three, two, then one. That's in order. Look, five, four, three, two, one. Then after that, five, four, three, two, one. Then you saw it. Then you go R O E X, which is also in mine. I've got all these files in my files with everything you need. Then you've got the ROEX All Rust Maps 243RC. Then I added in the Rocks All PM Pack 260RC version 2. Then we add in the AZGE map in this order AZGE add on 1.4.3. AZGE-SR 10.1RC Then AZGE-ProMods-ME Fix 1.4.3 Then AZGE Add-on Global City Names Local Then you add in the AZGE RTA Ferry 1.4.3 then we add Project Cautious. Then we add the Caps Fix for above that. Then you add the House in Italy. Then the House in Italy Fix above that. Then we get the Tech E Drag Rebuild Map. Then the Swedish Islands Map Add On. One Bat Edition 1.10. Then the German open, then the German border mod, pro mods fix. Then you got Paris 3.1. You can use 3.0. It's just up to you how much detail you want in your game. If you want more detail, choose the version 3.1. If you don't, if you don't want that much detail because of your graphics or any kind of other computer issue or performance, then choose this one here. Then afterwards, as another optional extra, I put in the ITAREVAMP, based in Italy rebuilt, Italy rebuilt map version 0 0.2. Then we put in HOKKE underscore island underscore map. That is an optional extra. I didn't actually know that worked until it started working. And that was just basically a fluke. Then we have the Stuttgart signs fix, which is part of Germany. Then we have the Bergs ferry mod. Then the D U R R E S bar ferry. Then we have the Iberian ferry plus. For myself, this is Steam Workshop only, guys. This one is not my own mod. Three ferries. Then we have the realistic signs. That is in my pack, by the way, guys. 
Then we have Universal English Localization, also in my pack. Real European Gas Station Reloaded. That one's in my pack. Real Traffic Density Pro Mod 2.55 add-on. That's in my pack itself. Then we'll want the Real Traffic Density and Ratio for ETS2. That's a must. That is in the Steam Workshop, but you can all subscribe to that. That just makes the traffic look more realistic in the sim. Then you get the real company logo. Then you have to then you would add the mod dash ETS2 real company logo version 2.4.1 trailers. Then I personally added myself the UK supermarket companies. Then for cargo, this is where you would put them in between here. I added the Railway Cargo Pack by Jazzy Cat. That's for the base. Then again for the English, so it read English names. Then I added the Military Cargo Pack. That's the base. And then again for the English names. Then I have Lightning McQueen. Then I have the Company Animation Gate Part 2. Then Part 1. Then I have my own trailers, so at first I'd be out my own traffic trailers. Then I'd got another streamer that I do follow called Ribso, so check him out. I got his traffic trailers, I've got my own gaming traffic trailers. I've got TDQs. I've got Gold Spiders, also check him out, he's just starting on Twitch. We have Lady Gabsters. I have Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I personally made that trailer for the latest film release. I've got some more trailer skins that I make, made or in the centre of still editing, believe it or not, guys. I have the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Scania S skin for 4x2 6x4 in white and black. That is the only difference. Then I have the Need for Speed Traffic Pack. Basically, you can get this in on the Steam Workshop for American Trucks, and that's where that originates from. Then we have the definition files for the Motorcycle Traffic Pack by Jazzy Cat. Then we have the, obviously, the Traffic Pack itself. Then for myself, I've gone and created my own... Volvo VNL 2018, which I mean more in detail about recreating it. It's changing all the interior to my own personal colours for my um, gaming page. Then I have got the hater built version 3.3 underscore 389 Viper 2 ATS ETS 1.4.3 edit by H3. Then I have my own skin, which is personally for me. My Scania Cab A. Then I have my Scania SNR CMI Black and Red Interior. That matches all my gaming page. If you've watched me, you'll know exactly what colours my whole gaming brand is. Then I have my Viper 2 389 2022 this year's skin. Then I have the Pixar's cars for that. That mainly only works in American Truck Sim. I'm still trying to get it working. ETS2. Then I have the red interior light version 1.0 for Scanyas. I have the wheel packs for ETS2. Then I have the ETS2 yellow lines on road because it make the it make the lines look so much neater personally myself. Then I have my own company garage basically. I've gone and designed this garage. It doesn't look like this in the photo. It's basically red and black with my skull logo across the signpost with my name. With my gamer name and basically all my Facebook, YouTube and Twitch. I have my own interior made for the DAF 2021 XG and XG+. 
I have the super engine and transmission which gives about 5,000 horsepower and a 5,000 litres worth of fuel tank, laugh out loud. Then I added this one here because it's brilliant for night time. Brighter truck and trailer lights. Then we have the background lights and V8 panels for Scania RNS. Then we have the new interior cabin lights version 3.0 for all versions. Then I have five modes of wipers ETS2. Then I have the Elvis Presley GPS voice for sounds. Then for another sound mod, I have the train and crossing sound mod. Then the road noise sound mod. Then the air brake sound mod. Then the interior noise sound mod. Then sound different air horns, trucks, SCS, ETS2. Yes, I've changed the stock horns because they're so boring and annoying. I have JB Modern's Light Pack. Then we have for the best weather and to experience the best near enough realistic weather what you would get outside. You would need the realistic weather and rain thunder sounds version 5.3 by Cass. Then you'd need the realistic brutal weather version 7.5 by Cass. This comes in two parts, but that does migrate it down into one, so you'll only see one mod. Then I've got my own photo loading screen. Then I have the route on top in the center with the mirror. I have the route in the top center with the mirrors on the left side and the right. Because I find it easiest to navigate. I have the ETS2 satellite BG for EU, AF, AS and OC backgrounds. On top I have a full screen world map. Then on top you've got to have the crash fix for huge combo maps. Then I have the AGMN character profile pictures pack. Then on top I have the no damage. That is all my mods I have guys and that is just basically running. That's how everything run. But that is exactly how mine runs. You don't have to have all the mods in. But anything which is crucial keep all the maps in that order. As you say as you could see it here mods in use 177. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you watch this load up, because you'll see the difference in my photo loading screen compared to stock. And once it's loaded up, I'll basically show you the size of the map before I start any kind of driving, because anyone that hasn't ever watched me, they can then see the size of the map and then they can make their own decisions for themselves if they want the mega map combo. And voila, let me know in the chat guys what you think of my own load and screen compared to stock. And I shall see you guys in a bit.
Right guys, um, we're back and we're basically in to here. Right, my hometown as the start for good amount of traffic. I'd personally select either Rostock or Berlin. That's what I've found on YouTube and done my research. So I've picked Berlin. Um, I've only gone and probably done about 0 0.5 worth of exploring on this map just to get it started so yeah obviously you can now see how big this map is it's either Rostock here or Berlin for traffic if you want to start off yourself we have all of the United Kingdom over here which is partially pro mods and we have the rest of pro mods here all of this is pro mods this would be another part of um, another one all I can tell you is if I find the one name uh, I think over here, this little island here, you've got Kirov, that's the Kirov map. Uh, down here I believe all this is Egypt, I'm not quite sure it could be. Then we have it all up here, I believe this is Road to Asia. I haven't literally explored this yet. So it'll be my first time to. We have all this down here. Then we have this here. And then you're going to laugh at this bit, right? We've only got one island over here, which is Toledo. Because the rest is just dead roads just to drive about. It could be completely dead, or it could be completely open until I take a tour around there and drive. I wouldn't know. But yeah, um, that's how big the mega map actually is. Of course, you can see I've got over 100 mods to run this. Now, if I go into quick job, um, it should be Berlin to... X to so I'm looking for Berlin to Berlin Obviously guys the jobs I want to run tonight haven't gone in So what I will have to do is hit yes I'll have to literally switch the game off put my jobs in come back on log back in and Then be good to go. It won't take me too long to literally um, Log The jobs in because I've only got to literally put about seven in We are basically going to be going from Berlin to Exeter, sir, then Exeter to Fishguard, Fishguard to Birmingham, Birmingham to Manchester, Manchester to London, London to Cambridge, Cambridge to my hometown, which is Norwich, then Norwich all the way up to Reykjavik, Iceland. So, if we go up to Euro Truck Simulator 2, this is in the Trucky app, guys, by the way, is how I load my jobs. We go into the autosave. And I will load up Berlin. Then we want EX. X to set. What we got? Apples. Have we got a single dry van? Yes, we have. Then we want X to set to fish. Fish guard. S C E. Uh, uh, C A E S C J A R Fish Guard to 
Let's just have a look, see what we just added. Ah, fish guard to Birmingham. Birmingham. We'll be taking some load bed semi trailers. Then we'll be going from Birmingham to Manchester. And we'll be taking some work clothes. Then we'll be going from Manchester to London. We'll press add delivery. Then we go over again from London to Cambridge. Add. Then Cambridge to Norwich. And then we will be taking Norwich to REY. Ray Kajavik, and we'll be taking an A R T E M I S for E J. And we will now update the game save on auto save. That's been updated. Hit play game, hit launch ETS2. You guys will then see it come back on screen in just a second. I'm sorry about this. I just thought I had to get this sorted out. <laughs> Guys, if you are watching me on Twitch, don't forget in the chat box to the right hand side just underneath the video feeds, you have a purple icon with sound effects. Um, don't feel like you don't have to press them, because you can press them as much as you like. It's another way to keep in uh, the streamer and the others that are viewing all entertained. So don't feel like I'm stopping you from pressing them. Just have a lot of fun. Just be careful which sound you press. Haha, <laughs> only joking. Right, so this, I believe that's because I might have ended the process once before it kind of jammed up my save. So, now we've added all the saves and added all the jobs to the save, and I'm now loading the game up, which is why it's taking a while and it's just spinning for me. Once it's loaded up, we're back in. Now you've seen the mods, you've seen the size of the map. And also, now we can get driving, and it's now 23 24. So, yes, guys, the next time I'll probably be on this once I've done today's stream is tomorrow night. So I just thought I'd literally put the word out there. I might be on here tomorrow night. Or I might be on American Truck Simulator. Then at least I can say I've done a stream on both truck simulators over the weekend. Which is fair enough. Because then tomorrow I should be going out. But yes, sooner or later guys. I will also clear this out there and all. If. I am on stream and my camera has suddenly gone off. Do not be alarmed. My camera is not broken. It is because my daughter who is driving and there is age limits on when the when it comes to kids and streaming are allowed to be on camera over social media and you've got to be over the age of 16 because she is under that not public giving out the age number um, due to her protection that's why the cam will be off if she's ever driving yes she'll be on headset once she does get more comfortable within streaming but if anybody wants to see my daughter drive the truck one day like the stream if you think that'll be entertaining. 
And also let me know in the chat, guys, if she'll be better than me or worse. Or who's going to be better than each other. As we are now back in, guys, um, we will now see if the jobs have loaded in. Berlin to Exeter, Great Britain, that is 20 hours and 10 minutes, so that's loaded in. So as we can say, the rest have. And, yeah, which is all good. My jobs have loaded in. Um, guys, I'm now going to bring up the... Uh, recent events and the chat box and also guys um, I will be just modifying a couple of settings and hello from Duan Manuel Vayhouse and followage thank you for that Brad um, I have the fatigue simulation switched off what that basically does is that stop your driver from falling asleep. And of course, I've the only other thing I have switched off is traffic offences. Um, for that, I am just going to turn my brake, braking intensity up a bit. And all that does is sharpen up your brakes. Um... Just got to quickly check. They're all in miles. That's in, ki that's in kilograms and tons, which is all good. Show second names in map. They're all ticked. So, um, we are now going to start the job from Berlin to Exeter. And we will be taking some apples. So, if I now click the take job. We will load that, and that will be 20 hours, and if we do this on time, we will get 20 slash 20 comma 300. Um, as you guys will see, my inputs on my controllers have gone kapiri again. So I want controller, height shifter, range, advance. We want the acceleration button, the acceleration pedal, sorry, the brake pedal, and the clutch. Do that and hit finish. That's all set. We will then hit drive. That's that. Yep, everything's set.
right guys there's a reason why i just stopped because i did forget to switch on my sat navigation and for everything else we are going to choose elvis presley because he just sounds so cool hey we're ready to rock and roll baby i'll take it up from yours truly I mean? drive safe he just sounds so cool doesn't he so we are starting on level 1 with 4,988 worth of cash. In 200 Let's meters, see how I'll turn left. Get by the end of the night. I'll turn left. turning up my output for my headphones because since I have turned and re reset up all my computer from scratch like say reinstalled all my windows I haven't done the levels properly for this they still sit on 54 when they're supposed to sit on about say 85 or should I say to be on the safe side 80 which is all better now because you guys can hear me a hell of a lot better. And then now I can do this and press F1 and you guys can hear me just as much as the engine. So yes guys, um, let me think, uh, uh, let, let me know what you think, sorry, of the Mega Map so far. And yes, I do have the realistic weather mods kicked in. You'll know exactly what I mean if you keep watching and you see it rain. We are going six mile an hour above the speed limit, which is a shit. We'll put the old cruise on, shall we? And this is... We have 874 miles to go with 19 hours on the clock. Personally, I like the way I've got the map set because in that way, if you guys would like to know which cities I'm about to approach, I've just right. gone past, at least I can then look at the map and then tell you. 
and then that way I've got the map inside the cab itself so then look at where I'm going hilarious horn isn't it we are coming up um, towards give me a sec till that city come on the map properly and I can tell you yes we are coming up against Mag Deberg Mag Deberg Mag Deberg yeah I was right the first time Take the R out, and that sounds like you're saying mag debug. <laughs> now, the damage, we are on zero. Now, let's see what the damage is when we hit ecstasy. And for this one, guys, we are actually going to keep cruise control, as it's my first job. And I want to see how much XP I get level one as you can all see all these are technically quick jobs so these are not freight market jobs these are quick but I do need to do some kind of jobs to build up my experience points so I thought yeah why not I'll just literally program my own jobs you know and we have just gone through sacks now There goes my Sonic 2 trailer. But yes, from what I see so far, the map is actually running rather well. Those people what I've found with either ETS2 Mega Map combos on the tutorials they do to set the maps up, they do not live stream it, they always record it and upload. Well, I'm actually not being funny here, but my own opinions are if you live stream it, you're going to get views, you're going to get followers, you're going to get likes, you're going to get shares, and you're going to get recommended to other people to watch. So then, obviously, get your channel grown, obviously get yourself well known, and everything on the, everything in that general area. But yes, I do stream this to YouTube, at Crazy Dead Chain Gaming, and I do stream all my streams going over to Twitch, which is Crazy Dead Chain, Crazy Dead SG. Please like all. Please like all the channels.
of the map that you'll be currently running, which is mine. Mine runs perfectly in the sweet spot at 35. And I nearly forgot to slow down. Do yeah, that one was on my own bad. Yes guys, we are getting some decent amount of traffic. Oh look, and the BBC has just gone past, but my now on the news. I'm not on the news for speeding because I'm doing the local speed limit. that one they can't know now. You're running out of ADB, AD Blue. Even though it says my, um, my, 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 my fuel has still got 961 gallons out of 1321. So what I'm going to have to do is somehow find a uh, diesel station, or gas station, or fuel station, sorry. But believe me guys, the best subscription to get um, if you want to start streaming to multiple places is the Streamlabs OBS subscription it's called Streamlabs Prime you get that you can then multi-stream to say YouTube, Twitch and Facebook um, you can also create a web page you can create a merch store you can create a whole lot of things from it Believe me, I've done some of it, but not all of it, I'm still going through it. I should really stop yawning. But I'm not even tired.
we've got a fuel station down here, just round the next corner. So we can pull into that, get some AD blue. Apparently so, it's bloody red. Yep. But yes guys, I do admit it, it's been a while since I've been on here. I'll keep it. So I do need to follow this round. We are, now we are now filling with fuel, guys. Back right up to Basically paying me, driving me around. You think you're paying me wages, but you're not. You're basically paying for me to drive your trucks. Seriously, it's out of fuck. It's out of fluid again. This is awkward. what people say, I'm just going to pull the truck over to the side, so I put this in north, we are in neutral and the truck is still switched on, Turbo pressure, would that be interesting to watch? 
Anyway guys, I'm smoking a flavour called mint chocolate and that is done by the big fruity. I should basically show you the bottle in a sec in case you guys were wondering what flavour I'm smoking. So you know which one to look for yourself. Once it's done up, the bottle looked directly like this. So at least now you've seen the bottle in case you want to try it. And I would say please do if you do like mint and you do like chocolate. It's basically like ice cream. Typical. I pulled the clutch up too soon and again. didn't want to have to take but we took it anyway and also I'm gonna hit number three just to adjust my lights what I mean by that switch on these two so then when I do switch on the lights at night everything will become active Now you can see I've done that, all my dash is a bit brighter. Riding around this truck is actually a lot better because the... Um, uh, wing mirrors are actually a lot smaller. But yes guys, at some point I will be rebuilding my uh, profile for Truckers MP. Now I will let you know and I shall put it out there also. If there's any of you guys that play Euro Truck Simulator 2 slash American Truck Simulator. Basically when you rebuild your, when you build your Truckers MP profile for either game. Click on Steam, go through the library, click on whichever simulator you are running and start it in DirectX first because if you do not do it, as I've found out um, basically the CB radio in your truck will not work And it is now 20.59. Oh, as you can see the realistic weather is now starting to kick in. When I'm passing by Dortmund, See, let me know also guys what you guys think. Do you lot personally like the roads when they're white or when they've got yellow lines down the centre? Because I personally reckon with the yellow lines it just makes the roads textures all stand out a lot more. 
I know you can personally run it on how you are, how you like on your own specifications, but I personally do like it with the yellow text textures. Personally, if you ask me myself, we have 12 hours and 46 minutes left on the clock, guys. Yes guys, we currently have two people watching on Twitch and YouTube and zero on Facebook at the minute. Where's all the Facebook people?
yes if you guys are wondering I am using the Logitech um, G29 um, I used to have the shifter that came with its standard and then I changed it I changed it and got a um, mod slash screw okay, adapter so I could stick an original gear stick on top just to make it look more realistic um, at the minute I have got a cobra head and if I press the button the eyes will either stay static they will flash or they will blink or rapidly flash for the eyes so I can have them issue still I can have them off flashing slower f flash so a slower or I can have them still so that evil eye red, evil red eyes or I can have them off personally unless I was showing this off I would be having them switched on so yeah that's why you can see the Cobra head, that's actually my gear shifter, which I personally think that's pretty sweet. We have now hit Belgium, guys, already. It didn't actually take that long to get from Berlin all the way down to near enough Belgium slash France, and I'm doing mainly the legal speed limits. There goes another Need for Speed car, guys, from one of the old PlayStation games. I love to have decent traffic packing because it makes the game look a lot better, to be honest, instead of looking at the boring standard traffic. I keep right. You're looking good. I think I turn right. I turn right. Literally approaching Brussels, guys. Does anybody want any sprouts? Obviously not, because there is a reason why. Um, I don't eat sprouts. One, because they're green, and if you are at the table with your family, whoever do not eat sprouts cannot then get blaming for blowing off. Which we all know, it's a crime that everyone else blame you for if you're sitting there. So yeah, that's why I don't eat them. But I know personally guys, I'm going to run these jobs, get down to Norwich, log off the game. 
go and eat because yes I haven't ate yet Aditya Thaka Cheers for the like, much appreciated We are driving from Berlin, Germany right the way down to Exeter, United Kingdom If you have just right. tuned in and just wondered where I'm driving to and from
Sonic, you actually came up in a traffic trailer, that's nuts. Oh yeah, of course you did, because I made it. Eh, 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 eh. We're now passing Lily. L I L L E. Lily. So, yes, we are now passing through France, or we're now just about to hit the two flags. As you shall see on the map very soon, pop up. We now cross the Belgian border, straight into France. And we have got 7 hours left, and 12 minutes. And for damage report, so far it's zero, zero, zero. Daniel, cheers for the like, cheers for the, the like mate, much appreciated. We're actually driving from Berlin all the way down to Exeter in the United Kingdom. And we are now crossing the ferry at Calais. 
or Cali, should I say. Yes, I'm starting from scratch. I have 4,988, and that is level one. Oh, look, and the ferry doesn't cost me nothing. How lovely is that? And yes, with my load screen, the ferry do go pink. So yes guys, um, we are now going to leave uh, Felix though, I believe, and now we are going to head down for, down towards Exorcist. There's my game and traffic trailer. I believe this way is exit, we'll have to take a right. But yet again, one day guys, I'll be doing a massive run from Berlin all the way to Reykjavik. This is without a standard truck this will be in a stock just so I can rank up because as we say um, we are all we're all adults um, basically, yeah, what I mean by that is it's been to the stage now where I've been classed as cheating, such like using TSSE tool to mod the levels, the money, all the garages, the lot. Um, basically, I don't want to do it. And with no one at Felix, though, welcome, guys. Oh shit, 40 mile an hour.
yes guys um, we are basically currently um, going through Croydon and I'm currently literally tailgating my own gaming trailer yes guys also if you download Mod Studio 2 you can create your own custom traffic trailer and that is the only way that it will make it look like that the AI slash trucks are working for you trucks like so to the left of me there was my trailer
I am in so say, how are you? Take the second exit.
the second exit. Such a rain in Exeter of all places. Trust you, Zach, for it to rain where you live. guys with um, realistic brutal weather by Cass um, the rain does look more realistic
is out in front of the storm, guys. That's how realistic it looks. Take the third exit. I'll keep it. destination. Right, we're gonna go 15 and we're gonna park this up and dead in front of us guys. Let's see how good I am at parking this up then, shall we? I can normally park them um, on ATS. Oh look, and I just done it again. And we've gone from level one right the way to let's have a look. Oh level three. Yo Dark Shadow Gaming, how are you? I'm actually now about to log off. 
but you actually caught me. I just reached extra, sir, but unfortunately, no, I didn't find Zack. At least I got a major laugh, didn't I? But yes, that was a drive straight from Berlin all the way to Exeter, sir. We started at level 1 with 4,988. <coughs> Pardon me. But anyway, guys, uh, I do hope you enjoyed the stream, the 2 hours and 5 minutes and 21 minutes of it. I am sorry, the first 45 minutes of it was me talking about my load order and my mod order. Um, if anybody would like the mods for the Mega Map for Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, feel free to send me a message up in my up on my Facebook.